is your love life during pregnancy? Um, I think I kind of already answered that in another video, but um, yeah, overall it's been really good. It hasn't really changed all that much, and if anything, I think it's actually maybe been a little bit better, actually. We've been really enjoying pregnancy, both of us. What star sign are you and your husband? And what star sign will Olivia be? Well, I'm an Aries and my husband is a Pisces. And I think she's gonna be a Virgo. But she could be a Leo though, if she's born like a little earlier. So yeah, Leo or Virgo. What foods have you been craving during your pregnancy? Definitely seafood, and that's interesting because seafood is something that I never liked ever in my life. What books have you read to prepare for your baby and childbirth? Um, I have been reading Natural Childbirth the Bradley Way. I highly recommend it. I'll be doing book reviews on these as well. Um, and I've been reading Spiritual Midwifery by Ina May Gaskin and um, a couple German books, which I'll just link all the books in the description box if you guys are interested in that. Do you work out while you're trying to get pregnant? Or no, did you work out while you were trying to get pregnant? If yes, what kind of exercises did you do while trying? And is it good to do heavy exercise while you are trying? Um, yeah, I did work out while I was trying quite a bit. I actually lost quite a bit of weight since the beginning of my TTC journey. Like if you watch the videos, you guys can see my face was like fuller back then as well. I think it's totally fine to do strenuous exercise while you're TTC if that's what you wanna do. I mean, um, if, if you're interested in doing that, definitely do it. Do it now too, because when you get pregnant, I wouldn't really recommend it so much. So, you know, while you can do it. How many children do you and your husband want? Also, are you going to film during the labor and delivery? Me and my husband want four kids. I think that's what we've kind of agreed on. It's kind of the common thing in his family, like almost everybody in his family has four kids. And um, I just feel like that's a really good number. We do want a really big family, you know. God willing, we would love to have four kids. Yes, we will be filming the labor and delivery. Um, and I do plan on putting some footage online. I'm going to go through and kind of see what I'm willing to put online. And uh, yeah, but we do plan on bringing our tripod with us to the hospital as well. How did you meet your husband? Already answered that. Have you been to the Netherlands? Nope, I haven't, but I would love to go. Is your mom going to be there for the birth of Olivia? Um, probably not. I really highly doubt it. I don't think she could make it in time. <laughs> I love the earrings you have in the oil cleansing method. Do you remember where you got them? I think you're talking about the gold leaf earrings. I actually wore in the first part of the question and answer video. Um, yes, I got them from C and A and they are from a line called Six. Um, are you going to have an online baby shower or a PO box so we can send stuff to you? No, there will definitely not be any online baby shower and I do not have a PO box set up just basically because I don't know how comfortable I feel with you guys sending me things. I just, you guys already do so much for me just watching my videos. Also noticed you lost weight since the start of the Beauty Bliss channel. Do you have any tips on how to get exercise and eating better? Um, I need to get off this couch. Well, you're absolutely right. That's what you have to do. That's your first step. You do need to get off the couch. Um, really, you just gotta, you gotta find that time where you feel really, really like inspired to do it. And then you just have to keep doing it. And I think if you get yourself into a routine, um, you'll find that it's hard to get yourself out of that routine and you'll just continue to eat healthy and make the right choices. And like you said, you gotta get off the couch. You you already said what you have to do. If and when do you plan to return to work or your language studies? Um, I don't think I'm going to continue doing my language studies just because um, I'm already, I think my German is already pretty good. And um, my husband and I are speaking a lot of German at home together and we're, I'm going to be speaking it with Olivia. So I don't think that I need to take any more courses. And in terms of work, I have not actually a job where I actually have to go to work. Um, how do you plan to introduce the baby to your guinea pigs? <laughs> um, I don't know, I think that it, you know, guinea pigs are pretty low maintenance. I don't think that they're going to really care too much about Olivia and probably vice versa for a while. Um, I guess we'll just let them smell her. Um, I don't think that there's going to be too much of a, I don't think there's going to be too much drama or anything in terms of that. I don't think they're going to care too much. 
Um, but one thing I do kind of worry about is when Olivia starts getting older and mobile, I have a fear that she's going to like break them because guinea pigs are not necessarily the best pets for young children because they are very small and very like, they're just sweet little creatures and very fragile. So I really, really kind of worry about that. When is your due date? My due date is August 27th. What is the worst thing about pregnancy? I don't know, probably just all the weird symptoms, like, you know, being tired, moody, just the, kind of the general things. You've always said you want a big family. Um, how big and what sort of age gap do you want between your children? I do want them to be relatively close in age, specifically the first two. How are you such a sweet person? Seriously, I wish I had your personality. You are so lovely and approachable. Aw, thank you. Um, Tips on making friends. What is your view on careers? Um, what do you want out of life? All right, so tips on making friends. I think the most important thing you have to do when it comes to um, making friends, it's important to be open and honest. I mean, obviously you don't wanna to be too open if you don't feel comfortable with that, but I always find that when, when you open yourself out to somebody, it kind of like, to them, it feels like you've just opened a door and they've just been let in and they feel like comfortable with you right away. So I think just, you know, be yourself. Just be honest is really the most important thing. Um, what is your view on careers? Um, I think careers are great. What do you want out of life? What I want out of life? I want, I don't know. I just, I'm so looking forward to being a mom and I think I already feel like so blessed to you know, have this, just to be having this experience right now that I'm having and I just can't wait to, you know, meet Olivia and, you know, meet all my other children and raise them and hopefully teach them um, to be good people and I think that's what I want most out of life probably. Obviously to be happy. Do you think you have high pain tolerance? I never thought I did till I pushed out two boys with no pain medication. Um... You know, I don't think my pain tolerance is great. I don't think it's like, cause I mean, obviously I don't like pain, um, but you know, I don't think I have low pain tolerance or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I guess I'll find out after Olivia, right? Why did you want to move to Germany? Was it difficult to adapt yourself to a different country and to different people? Yeah, so we moved to Germany because it really just not, it just was not working out for us in San Francisco. Um, it was just too expensive. Um, I was working overtime and going to school full time and, you know, just to make a living. And my husband was having a hard time getting a visa over there, even so we planned on getting married. Um, it was just not working out and I ended up being really stressed out most of the time. And yeah, we decided to move here and we've loved it so far. And I'm really excited to be a stay at home mom. And, um, you know, we love traveling, so we love having the option of being able to kind of go country hopping. I hope that I answered pretty much everybody. It was kind of hard because all the questions were kind of spread out all over the place. So um, I hope I found everybody. If you have any more, be sure to ask me on Form Spring. If you have any video requests, let me know through there as well. And I hope you guys are all having a good day and I will see you soon. Bye.